and you think about how you're going to produce the newsletter. And it's not just a matter of print versus electronic. You also have to think about who is literally going to put it together for you. If you have interns, if you have a full-time person, great. But we work with a number of people where they have an administrator, but they're so busy doing other things like putting together proposals, um, closing deals when new business comes in, that they need the help. There are some options out there, and we'll talk about those. Uh, and that is also tied to, can you sustain a newsletter? Because your newsletter is an extension of your company, it's part of your brand, there's this implied contract here. You're saying, thank you for you know, agreeing to stay in touch with me. And I, you know, in exchange, I'm going to give you useful, helpful information that's going to make your life better in some way every month, every quarter, every six months. But whatever you say you're going to do, you need to do it. Because obviously, if you're going to slack on the newsletter, where else might the relationship suffer? So.